guys, it's Miriam Florio, and today we're going to be going through how to add an opportunity to Dynamics 365. So let's get started. Right now I'm looking at my sales dashboard, and of course you can see the information about my sales here, but how do I get a new opportunity into the system? So there are several different ways to add a new opportunity, and there's really no wrong way to do it. I can use my quick create button by clicking the plus sign in the upper right hand corner of my screen and then selecting opportunity. This brings me to a more abbreviated form. So if I don't have time to enter all of the details for an opportunity, this is the way that I would recommend getting it into Dynamics. So this is going to be, um, a, we're going to call it Big Sale Oppo. And you can associate an existing contact with it. You can also just leave that contact blank if you don't have somebody in the system you want to attach to this opportunity. You can do the same thing with the account. Budget amount will say is 10,000. And the estimated revenue we're hoping is also 10,000. And the estimated close date. You can always change the close date later on. So if your customer tells you I'm gonna need something by next month, then you can fill it in for next month. And then if they tell you they need a little more time, you can change the estimated close date later. So the information that's on this quick form, keep in mind, you can customize and change to fit your needs as an organization. So I'm going to click save. And that created the record. So you can see the opportunity was created. I could view the record or create another. So if you're entering a lot of information at once, this is a nice way to do it. Um, you can also just go to, let's say we're just gonna look at a list view of opportunities. And from right here, I can always add in an opportunity. So we'll click new. And as you can see, this is the full entry screen. I can minimize the business process flow at the top to make the screen a little cleaner to look at, or you can always enter the information directly into the first stage of the opportunity. Um, it's really just your, your preference. So I'll enter the contact here. You can enter an account if you want, purchase time frame, estimated budget, purchase process, Really depending on what fields you have, those are the ones you should fill in. And it's a big sale opportunity number two, we'll call this. And make sure you have the rest of your required fields filled in. Okay, so now I have two opportunities entered into the system, one using the quick create and one using the longer process of entering it into the full form. Join me next time for more tricks and tips on Dynamics 365. Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to download a Word template onto your CRM and then modify that Word template to bring back into the system. So the Word templates or Excel templates can be accessed through the templates area of the system. There are some out of the box templates as you can see 